drop, gonna drop. So you end up becoming Cuban's PR in, down in Florida, right? What I exactly? I am. I have his PR management, and I'm going to let the place in Miami, which is a global place. Miami is just full of amazing cultural, you know, vibes. You can practically say the world is in Miami. International. There's a lot of, yeah, internationally. And I'm going to do a record with Cuban Links. We're going to make a banger. We're going to fucking put it on Empire. That's how real shit got. That's fire. That's how real shit got. And they going to be with their eyes and their mouth open. And they just going to suck a nasty dick is what they're going to do. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't Joe a part of Empire? He got his distribution with Empire. Yeah, but I got mine too. He's not going like that. <laughs> but, but yeah. Um, so what does the PR uh, exactly entail? Well, a PR is a representative, you know, that's going to make sure... He is in the right business. I'm not going to let nobody play him. Like I said, little crazy shit happened where I want, I was on the move to put him for a concert booked out here and interviews, but fucked up people from that side, you know, you know where the energy comes from, you know, try to fuck it up. So before something becomes fucked up and then there's a problem where people are going to get fucked up, I said, let's just cancel it and let's brainstorm on something else. You know what I mean? Which we're in the process of that and it don't stop the grind, you know? But I'm very upset that people don't understand out there like what he goes through. It's not fair to him. It's not fair to people. Because I know when he was down there in Florida, he was supposed to have an interview and then it ended up getting canceled, right? Uh, because certain people yeah. made calls. It was supposed to be for, for the next next year. It was getting put together for next year and some hating ass bitch <laughs> that knows that side and was just chilling with that side did that. You know? So a person uh, that's cool with that side ended up uh, getting it canceled? Mm-hmm. How did they do that? Talking about the situation of Fat Joe and Cuban Links and, you know, speaking on that subject. By contacting the radio or what? At the, by writing an email and basically, you know, the... Cox Media is 99 Jams, right? And there's different names on the brand range of Cox Media. And the person did write to Cox Media. And the reason why I'm not saying her name because I'm not giving her motherfucking clout. You know what I'm saying? She does not deserve clout, and I'm not going to give it to her. Because I know that's what she wants. And we just going to kill it with success. When we drop the music on Empire, it's bananas. It's going, it's a, it's just gonna be lit. They're gonna really see like the money moves for real, for real. So then, he was supposed to have a show next month in Miami mm -hmm. too, and I just received word that that got canceled because the manager is cool with a certain somebody over in that camp. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It was crazy too. It was crazy, but you know, um, the person got fired because I called the headquarters of the hotel and I said, Hey, this was, you know, this is what went down that night. And, um, shout out to ESE promotions because he witnessed that. And I'm glad that other people, wait, 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 the that. manager that, that canceled it got fired. Yeah. Wow. He, he was a, a um, bartending man. I got him fired, though, because I hit up the the head of the company, 
And I said, man, fuck that. This is so unprofessional. This is what went down. You know, this is what I could have brought. I could have bring to the establishment. And this is what you guys do because certain person is cool with, you know, put it like that. That guy got fired. He got fired. God don't like ugly, though. So. At least I'm, I mean, I, I don't get happy seeing people get fucked up, but I mean, that person did deserve that. Mm-hmm. Because right when I'm talking about, oh, we're going to, we're, we're about to have a Cuban Links event here, stay tuned, the guy came and interrupted me and then came to my face cussing at me. Then I went to go check. He happens to be one of the homies <laughs> on that side. He cussed at you? So, yeah, he cussed at me and disrespected me. Motherfuckers wanted to hurt him in there. And then he came what with... What was your... Yeah. What was my reaction? I'm going to be honest with you. There was a Bacardi bottle, like, right next to me. I wanted to grab that and hit him across the head with it. But then I said, that's not professional. I said, you know what, DVD, you got this. You know, I was so hurt. You know, and, and, and I was so angry that I cried because when I'm angry, I, I cry. And, yo, like, I did handle it very professionally because I wrote to the hotel. Everything got worked in my favor, to be honest with you. But I was not going to have human links played, you know, because... God knows who's trying to plan something, you know, then something goes down, something fucked up happens, like, no, I'm not trying to go through an embarrassment of wicked minds, so, you know, I said, you know, fuck this, we'll, we'll figure out something, which, better things are going to come. So now that Way the better. manager got uh, fired, does that mean that the show can go on? The reason why I don't want it to go on, because... There's still one bitch left in there that she wasn't cool and she was part of the play. And she's still at the facility. She's still there at the spot. And I just don't trust it, um, Panda. You know? I don't trust it. So you're trying to do all these things to help Cuban, right? And you're, you're facing pushback. What is that like? Because a lot of people don't believe blackballing is a real thing and that it's just an excuse. It is a real thing. It is a real thing because the fact that people be like, DVD, I don't give a fuck. I want to help them. That's it. You know? I want to help them. Oh, it doesn't affect me. It has not affected me, Panda. I'm doing great. You understand? I got great things behind me. So I'm going to support him. You know what I mean? It's just, everything is the mind control. And one of the things that I noticed too, that when I had put on my bio, that I was gonna, that I was, I'm his PR management, yo, I couldn't get on my, my Instagram, bro. That shit was crazy. It was like, two weeks, I couldn't get on my page. Wow. It, I was like, not able to get on. And I'm like, damn, how now I'm gonna get back access to what I work hard on, you know what I mean? And it was, I really thought I was going to lose my Instagram. I didn't because then I had to go look for my Android phone, my Android Galaxy, in order to get back to my Instagram. That's how I was able to get to my Instagram. But they tried to shut me down. 